Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys this Wonderland um, 222 in the B6 size um, and just kind of share like how I use it. Um, so I don't plan in this. This is my memory keeper or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you'll kind of see a progress, a progression with this planner. So when I purchased this planner, I bought it used. So like a couple of days were already like used in it and they were cut out and all that stuff. And it's fine. Um, I had planned to use this for work because it's so like small and compact that I thought I could, you know, just carry it around work and jot stuff down and realize really this wasn't going to work for me at work. Number one, it takes too long for the ink to dry because it is Tamoy River paper, but also like it is, it's too small. I write a lot of stuff down at work. So I kind of converted this to a memory keeper slash time auditor slash, you know, journal, whatever you want to call it, where I just tried to notate like all the stuff I did each day. Um, so I'm going to flip through it really quickly so you can kind of see the progression, but I did like kind of tip in some stuff here just to kind of make it pretty in the front. Um, this was me really experimenting. Um, this is really my, this was my first go in a bound book aside from like, um, my PP weeks journal, which is where I just kind of, I make it pretty. I write my thoughts, etc. Um, so this is kind of what I use for journaling, but it has been a, I haven't journaled since, October 8th. Um, so there's that. Um, this is just kind of you sparingly. I have several pages left. Um, and this is very personal. Um, a lot of what I keep in here is, is extremely personal and there are some personal things in here. So I'll just kind of quickly go over it, but this was like a Maria plans freebie. And I just, I did my best to print it to be six size. Obviously I didn't do the greatest job. And I use my corner rounders to do that. I didn't use any of the trackers in here. So this is not really going to be like a walkthrough of this planner. It's just more so like me showing how I use it. Um, there's a lot of YouTube videos on this planner where people actually use it as a planner. I don't. Um, but yeah, it does have like a yearly overview. So originally I was like going to keep up with my PTO balances and highlight like when I worked out and stuff. But that lasted like a week. And then I was tracking my steps and when my kids missed school and then that kind of fell off too. Did it for, you know, what, a couple weeks. Didn't really use the habit trackers. I think I tried for like one month and that, yeah, was, so, you know, I, I was just playing around with it because like I said, it was the first time I had dabbled with a bound book. You can see like there's pages cut out because I did buy this used, um, and then, yeah, these weeklies are blank. And then there's some more pages cut out because that was when I used it for work. So I cut those pages out and shredded them. I tipped in this because I was reminding myself that week that I needed rest. But that was when I started, like, memory keeping. And so, like, I was, like, you know, it was all, like, pen highlighter. And I was basically just jotting down all the stuff that I did in a day, essentially. Um, tipped this in, didn't do a good job. Um, and then I started like tracking like monthly things. I have like this cheap sticker that I stuck here, just kind of playing with it. Um, yeah. And just kind of just writing about like all the stuff that we did. Like here was when we went, I think this was the week. Yeah. We went to Savannah. Um, and so, and then I was also like detailing my YouTube videos and my YouTube analytics. And I was highlighting on my monthly calendar, like what YouTube, when I posted YouTube videos and like any like highlights I could think of. Um, so for a while it was just like pen and paper. I was very meticulous about maintaining, you know, all of this. This was um, another overview of my posted videos, my analytics, and then I made this in Canva and tipped it in. I was writing out like my content goals in here. This month I was like writing all the things down apparently, threw a couple stickers down. Um, yeah, got my nails done. I mean, it's just little things. Like I got my VDS, my first CDS on that day. So it was just like a lot of stuff. Um, apparently I subbed. Uh, at the school that day. So just kind of like looking back at all of the things, there's no like real sensitive information. Like Sophie gave me that sticker. So stuck it in here. 
Um, continue to note my YouTube uploads and such. Another sticker my daughter gave me. I'm just jotting stuff down. So I was really, really detailed when I was like writing all this stuff down. I'm flipping through it quickly. So, um, and kind of followed that. And then I think July is when like school got really crazy. There was like a lot of like tragedies. I was attending, unfortunately, a lot of funerals. And so I just kind of like, look, like I just literally what wrote like water park day. That was when I had that stomach bug. I think I ate like bad food at that water park, honestly, but whatever. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I literally just put an X on that. Yeah. So got so busy with schoolwork that I didn't make time to update basically worked and wrote papers. And please keep in mind that I was supposed to be off in the month of July. So it was just really crazy. Um, August, I, I like set up the sticker kit because it was like my birthday month and my daughter's birthday month. And then I did the first week of August and didn't go back. But I do want to go back in for the week of mine and my daughter's birthday and just do like some spreads. But yeah, fell off in August because August was a crazy month. Um, so this is when I started getting really inconsistent. Um, so like I started noting my YouTube videos but didn't. And then I kind of moved it to my personal rings. Um, covered something up there. But yeah, overslept that day. I was late for work. Um... So, yeah, I was just noting. And then I was like, you know, I kind of want to add some stickers and colors. So, then I started making these ridiculous spreads just for fun. Just to kind of satisfy a need to lay down stickers. So, here's October. I did nothing with the monthlies in October. And that's fine. And then, yeah, I was doing more spreads and colorful stuff. That was the second week. I was honestly just using stuff I have. Like, this gave me an opportunity. Like, I kind of made these um, myself. This was like a picture my daughter took, and I just printed it um, on sticker paper to stick in here. Um, you know, I honestly was using my stash um, to just make it cute. I had a lot of, like, stickers that Print Impression had sent me as freebies. Um, you know, didn't go as detailed in all of this. Yeah, and then I started getting, like, I ordered these cute stickers because I feel like school takes over my life. Missed a day there. I mean, this was a busy week, too, so I managed to get down work when I had a day off, and then we went to Mellow Mushroom. <laughs> I guess those were the highlights of my week. I think here was my dad's birthday dinner, and he um, rode the birthday saddle at, um, what's it called, Logan's? No, Texas Roadhouse. And then November, um... So, yeah, I did note some stuff on this monthly. So, we had a successful community event that I was proud of. And then girls were helpful today. Um, and I, usually they whine and gripe if I ask them to do chores. So, I thought that was worth noting. Used some of my planner spot stickers and my caffeine and paper cut stickers. And then I started to fill this in for Sunday and I didn't. And then I've done nothing for this week. So... I mean, I plan to use this hopefully through the rest of the year. This is something I don't, like, put a lot of pressure on myself for. Like, if I skip weeks, like, if you look in August, like, I skipped so many weeks. But I do, like I said, want to go back and just do spreads from, um, at least for my daughter's birthday. Because she had her, I think she had her birthday party on the 21st. So I kind of want to, like, do, like, some stuff there. And then her birthday, because I tricked her and made her think she wasn't going to get a cake. Which I'll, you know, anyway, so we had a good time. And then I, you know, I've taken this with me like when we've gone um, on vacation and I journal and stuff in here. So, I mean, really, it's, it's, I use it however I feel like using it. You know, when I first started, I was extremely meticulous. And then, you know, I didn't really have a ton of time. Um, the undated version would have been a lot better for me in this book. Um, and I've considered ordering the undated Wonderland 222, but if you want to see like what a blank spread looks like, if you're at all curious, it is vertical with Saturday and Sunday stacked. Um, and it goes from a 7A to 9P. You have this little section here, and then you have like across the weekdays, you have like a little section for, I guess you could notate like appointments and events or, or whatever. And it's the same with the monthlies. Now, this is, um, very, it's kind of similar to what a Hobonichi, I don't really know a whole lot about Hobonichis. Um, 
except that it's not like months in the front and then your weeks, like it's like separated. So you have like your month and then your weeks, which I like that about this planner. So it's very faint. You got your months there. It's a Monday start. And yeah, so that's pretty much how like a blank monthly looks. Um, I like doing this. It's almost like a form of scrapbooking for me because I was really big into scrapbooking. Um, I just don't have time to, to really do a lot of it. This is easy because typically what I do is I lay in bed on Saturday night and that's when I do my memory planning for the week. Um, and I reference like my dailies and stuff like that to just kind of fill in what was going on in life at that time. Um, so yeah, but anyway, um, for this coming up here, I, I've done a video where I, um, unboxed this. This is like a Fibonacci weeks or, um, a dupe weeks that I found on Amazon. It's undated. Um, so I don't know. I think that I may, I don't know. I think I may use this for 2022, but I'm not going to put the pressure on myself. If I end up hating this, then I may just like use because I'm comfortable in B6 size. I have this like print pressure journal that I can create weekly spreads um, with my sticker stash or draw lines or, you know, almost like bullet journal my memories. I just like having this like book of memories from all the, you know, the monotonous <laughs> things I do. Um, but it's nice to look back, like, cause I know things like, you know, if my kid had a, um, had a meltdown or if my kid had a particularly great day or, you know, if I had a rough day at work or, you know, the times I've chatted with hubby and just kind of things like that. And I've, you know, we've sat down together and like looked at this together and read through and it triggers like those memories of, of things that happened, um, this year. I also like when my kids give me stickers and I can like stick them in here on the day they gave it to me or whatever. So, <clears throat> this is a really good memory keeper. I have some viable options for 2022 because this will run out. Um, like I said, I can always use my B6 print pression. I don't know how many pages are in here. I think there's a hundred maybe that I could do weeklies. And because this is like undated and it's just grid paper, like I could kind of pick it up when I want to. Um, this is also undated. So if I ignore the months, I could just go week to week, which is what I was thinking when I originally purchased this. And then I bought a Hobonichi Weeks, and who knows, I'm hoping to do a planner chat video in the very near future to talk about what I'm doing in my planner life. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that's what I use this um, Wonderland 222 for. I really like it. I like the paper. Um, it seems to me like it's a lot wider than the Hobonichi. It holds like the Pilot Juice Pen really well. So I'll say that, like that's what I use to write in it is I use my Pilot Juice um, 0.38 and it holds it well. Not a whole lot of smearing unless I just don't give it time to dry. Um, so it's been a great option, but I think a while ago someone asked me um, about this planner and how I use it and that's pretty much it. It's not really a planner, it's just a little, it's a book of memories uh, from 2021 and how crazy <laughs> life has been this year and all the all the twists and turns. Um, so yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I'm especially enjoying the stickering. Um, I think last, or I did this Saturday, my, my daughter, I gave her like a little planner too. So she was like writing her, she's six and she was like clean house. She's like writing her little memories in her planner. So we had a good time. She washed sheet and laid stickers down and I did the same. And, you know, I like it. It's fun. Um, but yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoy utilizing this for my memory keeping. Um, so that's pretty much it. Just thought I would share um, my, little, my little thoughts on that whole situation. If you enjoyed the video, you know, you do me a favor, like it, subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a fabulous day.